What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Uh, didn't we have that yesterday or the day before? No. Yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's, and the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. No offense to you. I'm just getting a little tired of the apple juice. Well, I, I guess we'll just have to go for another forage, in case we missed anything. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing. But I should be able to fix that real quick. I also have some good news. What's that? I love you. off works for me um no i didn't do that ah uh, we must have run out of flow weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today <laughs> excuse me if i was working on the engine i can't do everything no worries i'll go get some more outside if i'm lucky i'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple juice <gasps> i'll come with you There, a flow thread. Perfect. Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. How many more do you think we need? Uh, I don't know. Three? Maybe four? Sorry, birds. We didn't see you. Good thing there are plenty of flow threads around here. without having to stop all the time. Whoops. Try again. Yes! Just like that. One or two more threads and we'll be all set. I'm all charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. Apple dues again. Who knows how long we're going to be stuck here? We might as well stock up. Well, that was a bust. We were too slow. No biggie. Plenty of threads out there.
This is so slow. We're not going anywhere. So? All good. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this, or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? If we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah. Uh. Do we have to talk about this? We are going to need to at some point. We need to be prepared. We need a plan. I'm planning on finishing my plate without hearing about the Apuri. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. Kate will never be able to take off in these conditions. We absolutely must finish repairing the nest. Thanks for letting me know. Huh. Hmm. Do you think it's time to go to bed? If you say so. You? All right, let's talk about it. Fine. Uh... I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on, are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Uh... Do you really think that they can come and get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. But there's no way they can know where we are, is there? I cut off the autonav, the astrolock. Even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them, steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be far away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see, I was just wondering, do we have to get out? Can we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but you know what I mean.
Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now. Who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. It could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple juice. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. You? Not sure. I thought we were gonna get some food. We're gonna go, but there's no hurry, is there? No, that's true. Do you remember where the apple juice were? Could we try and pick something else for a change? Is it me or is the ground shaking? It's shaking. It's shaking a lot. Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No. No, I don't think so. <sighs> well, except... <sighs> it's not all lost. Well, it is a bit. Look, we can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I don't know. A, a rope. A jetpack. Spring-loaded shoes. Anything. I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. I think I found something. Huh? <gasps> Call me crazy, but this looks like a bluton. Yep, it looks like a flow bridge. Kind of like the one we took to get here, but smaller? Is that possible? Why not? We, we still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space, but if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridge is a link in one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, y you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah, the bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. I'll pick up some berries and run some tests. First, we'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Hmm. 
It's peppery. You did not. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Mm. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple dews. This is a pretty one. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No, the mushrooms on its back. Looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, <laughs> not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer. Maybe it has bad hygiene. Maybe what you call symbiosis is just a fungal infection. That's a possibility. We'd have to get a sample to... Stop. Touch one of those mushrooms and you won't touch me again. Ever. Make sure they don't get squished. Bridge was a unique occurrence. Good, because those things are really useful. Wow, that's actually what is that? We should take a closer look. idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? Not really. It looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. Look, it looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk.
Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. There must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. Saw that. That's it. That was the last one. Clearly. We're breathing a lot easier without all this rust. find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. be useful. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. Is it because of that rusty stuff? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we won't have any more unpleasant surprises.
husband? Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great, but how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat. <laughs> of course it tastes great. We almost missed this one. I'll clean. We found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. What did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Whoa, what a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah, we'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to bed. Come on, let's go to bed instead. I've had enough of this day. <gasps> oh, 
Huh? You okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No. I was awake. I could hear you. I, I just couldn't move or yell. I, I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the room, everything. Okay. Okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. <laughs> no kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this will all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing part then. So I can get fixed up too. All right, now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Uh, sorry. It did feel a bit weird at first, but now I can't even tell the nest is tilted. I guess I got used to it. What? No, 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 you can't get used to it. We're gonna get the nest out of this crevasse. I don't want to get used to it. So, it's kind of an apple do taste. It's in there. Hey, you never told me. What did your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get our file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. I already knew you. Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Huh. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Ugh, as if you needed me to have an opinion about a girl. I'm sorry. I live with the most handsome man I know. 24-7. Why would I care about girls at this point? Hmm. You're such an idiot. Come on, let's check our profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Wow. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean biology research assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two were made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bloating good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference.
What if we grabbed a little snack for the road? Huh, sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well, just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Balding brute! Oh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. That's not how things work. I know that's not how things work. Nothing is working the way it should. Especially not this polluting tractor globe. Poor thing is doing what it can. It wasn't designed to lift ships in the first place. I know. But I was hoping it would go the extra mile. Right now the batteries drain out even before lifting the nest off the ground. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that, but we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are rolled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Anyway, how much rest do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. I think we've got everything we need to mold a joint for the tractor globe. All right then, ready when you are. I'm just waiting on you. I can't wait to get going. <laughs> <laughs>